I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We have had two lessons on limits and based on these two lessons, here we have examination style test paper. I'd like you to go through these questions, understand the concepts, answer them. I'll be providing you the solution in the next video. Now, the questions are based on finding limits. We'll have question beginning with finding limits from a graph. Then we'll use a piecewise function and see how to find limit using a piecewise function. We'll have number of questions based on how to evaluate limits when algebraic expressions are given to us. Now, some of these functions could be very complicated. Then we'll relate when the function's limit is given to us and then how do we work with them? We'll have questions based on absolute function. We need to sketch the graph when the limits is given to us and we need to find a quadratic equation when conditions of the limits are given to us. So let's begin with the test paper. The very first question here is, question number one, evaluate limit of function f of x from the graph. I'd like you to pause the video at this stage, have a close look at the graph given to you, and then answer these questions, the six of them. You need to find limit of f of x when x approaches minus 3, right? So that is the point minus 3. You can notice a hole in this particular graph. B, limit of the function f of x when x approaches minus 1. So minus 1 is this point, which you can see here on the graph. C, limit of the function f of x when x approaches 2 from the left side. That minus is approaching 2 from the left side. And then we have limit of this function when x approaches 2 from the right side. E, limit of the function when x approaches minus infinity, that is this end. And F is limit of the function when x approaches plus infinity, the other end. Now, based on this graph, we have the second question, which is write domain and range of the given function. Clear? So take your time to answer this question and post your question answers. Here is the second question. Question number three. We had two there. The second one was domain and range of the given graph. Question three is, given f of x is equal to x plus 1 whole square when x is less than minus 1, it is equal to x when x is in between minus 1 and 1, both included. It's equal to 2x minus x square for x greater than 1. You need to determine following, if possible. Sometimes the limit may not exist, right? A. Limit of the function f of x at x approaches 2. B. Limit of f of x when x approaches minus 1. C. Limit of f of x when x approaches minus 1 from the right side. D. Limit of f of x when x approaches minus 1. E. Limit of f of x when x approaches 1. And the domain of the given function. Again, pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Question number four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are based on evaluating limits. So we have a variety of questions here. First few are knowledge based and then the difficulty level increases. So have a good look at it. You might need to solve them in different pages, one after the other. Question number four here is to find limit when x approaches 8 for square root of 12x plus square root of 2x. Question five, limit x approaches 125 for 125 minus x over cube root of x minus 5. Question number six, limit of tan x minus sin x over sin cube x when x approaches 0. Question number seven, limit 2x minus 3 divided by square root of 9x square plus 5 
when x is approaching minus infinity. Question number 8. Limit x square plus absolute value of x minus 1 minus 1 divided by absolute value of x minus 1. When limit of the function approaches, x approaches 1. And the last question here is, you need to find limit of square root of 3x minus 1 divided by square root of 5x plus 1 plus cube root of 2x plus 1 limit when x approaches infinitely large value. So pause the video, copy these questions, solve them, write down your answers and then look into my suggestions. So I'll be providing the suggestions in the second part of the video. Next question here is, question number 10. Now these questions are slightly different. We'll actually uh, work with the function and the limits. Question number 10 is, given that the limit of f of x plus g of x when x approaches 0 exists, write function f of x and g of x such that the limit of f of x when x approaches 0 and the limit of g of x when x approaches 0 do not exist. So these are communication based questions. I like you to justify your answer that will give you full marks. Question number 11 is limit if limit of f of x is equals to 2 when x approaches 3 find the limit of f of x whole cube minus x square over f of x minus 5 when x approaches 3. Question number 12. Sketch a graph of a function with following properties. Limit of f of x is equal to 3 when x approaches minus 2 from the left side. Limit of f of x is equal to 1 when x approaches minus 2 from the right side. And f of minus 2 is equal to 2. Here we have question number 13, 14 and 15. Now these are the last three questions of our test. You can always pause the video, copy these questions. Question number 13 is again function based as a communication thinking question. If the limit of f of x over x where x approaches 0 is 1 and g of 0 is not equal to 0, then evaluate each limit. A. Limit of f of x when x approaches 0 and B is limit of f of x over g of x when x approaches 0. Question number 14. Show that the limit of absolute value of x minus 1 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 when x approaches 1 does not exist. Sketch the graph and explain the discontinuity at x equals to 1. The last question here is, determine the value of a, b and c for the function f of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0, set that satisfies the conditions f of 0 is 0, limit of f of x is 3 when x approaches minus 1, and the limit of f of x is 6 when x approaches 2. Perfect. So these are the 15 questions for you. Uh, let's again go through them. So here's a second look at these questions. Well, the question given here on the top is one of the most difficult questions. It's a challenge and a bonus question in this particular video. Now, the first one is you have to read the limits from the graph itself. So that should not be very difficult. And then write domain and range. You have to notice the graph very carefully to write down the domain and range correctly. Then we have one side limit questions based on a piecewise function to understand the concepts of piecewise function. And these are knowledge 
and some of them are thinking based questions to find the limit using the strategies which we learn most of the strategies were to factor to rationalize to change the variable and then find the limit if the substitution method doesn't work and then this is slightly different from what we had been talking about but I thought let me take this opportunity to teach you something extra while we are taking the examination I'll provide the solution and explanation of these questions later so here we are given the limit of a function and then we want to know what the function looks like so this has been extended a bit further and then we have added three more questions which are also extended questions on the limits concepts so we need to again work with the given limits of the functions and find the limits of new functions which are a part of the function or could be formed by composition of the function then we need to evaluate the the function itself and in the last question we need to find the function when we are already given the limit of the function perfect I hope you find this interesting and useful so take your time calculator is not required in solving these questions and post your questions at the earliest we are going to discuss the solutions in the next video thank you for your time and all the best